if you want to create the perfect green screen and the lighting setup is perfect, then this will not be a problem. But what if you forgot to turn the lights on? So in reality, we went from this to this. Even though I forgot to turn the lights on for the green screen, to be honest, Crow Video Studio could easily take care of this. Let's highlight the chroma key, use the eyedropper and place it as close to the subject as possible. And then I'm just gonna use the mask created to get rid of all the excess footage that I don't need. All right, let's just place this guy or me in the center. Now I'm gonna use the lasso tool and I'm just gonna highlight only the green area like so. I'm gonna drag it across, I'm gonna release it and I'm gonna click it in the first square and that completes the circle. I'm gonna press okay. And then you'll see, voila, everything is taken care of. And I'm gonna now just crop in on the sides like so because I don't need all that footage I'm going to switch it back to the resize nodes oh I don't need this here it's still registering that and I can just place it anywhere I want so it did a pretty good job even though I forgot the lights at the background with the standalone or the what comes with Corel Video Studio. But this is not the challenge. The challenge is what would happen if I had no lights. So here I am sitting on the chair once again, but this time I've actually turned all the lights off. The only light source I've got currently, it's from a small window off to the side. If I was to apply the chroma key now, bring the eyedrop as close to the subject, I've got the similarity ramped up to 100%. And as you can see, it's not doing such a great job. So what do we do to fix this? Well, we're gonna use the Chroma Key Pro from the New Blue Filter Collection. Go into New Blue Elements and you'll see here Chroma Key Pro. Click and drag that and place that onto your footage. Left click on the star, filter Chroma Key Pro. Because we are using a green screen, we can use the green key or the preset. But if I click on it, all it does, it turns it gray. So what we need to do now is we have to show the mask. Let's go to none and then do chroma key. So you'll see that everything is white. Now, white is what we want, but we don't want everything white. We need also that footage we don't want, and that should be black. So the first thing I'm gonna do is increase the sensitivity. Now, as I do that, you'll start to see more and more black coming through. I could also change the color range ever so slightly so it's not going to take all the colors around me. Now what I want is this perfectly black and then the subject or myself perfectly white. And as you can see, I've, I've achieved that already. If I go back to none, I should have the perfect key. So here we go. I think that is spot on. Let's press OK. Right. Just like before, all I need to do now is just mask out all the stuff that I don't want. And there you go, it is that simple. And also what I'll do here is just tidy everything up a bit. Like I don't need all that real estate on my project. Let's go into crop this, bring it right in. And I'm gonna do this for a reason I'll show you in a minute because I'm gonna add a little bit more fun to it. Just in case you wanna do the same thing. Let's go back to the resize mode so I can then adjust that. Now, if you're using a high-end camera like 2K or 4K, then as you scale it up, it'll stay nice and crisp. But all I'm using on this footage was the Samsung, so I can't really push it. It's just gonna look really blurry. Now what I did just for a little bit more excitement as well, I did the drop down shadow. So I click and drag, drop that onto my footage. And now it created a bit of a drop down shadow and it kind of separates me from the background. Otherwise it kind of looks like I'm melted into the background. So what I did here, I kind of just played it with the offset to where I really wanted it. And then the angle as well. I just really tweaked little things to, to suit the look that I was after. So now it definitely looks like I uh, am sitting in front of the screen. Now before you go, I'm going to show you a little pro tip that I learned from somebody else. And it made a huge difference when it comes to green screen. Now lastly, what I will also do is probably throw on my favorite little filter, the Dual Booster. I'll throw that on there as well. And that just makes my, the colors pop. It's a little bit strong. Let's go into the filter again, dual booster. And obviously it's very bright and I'm just gonna reduce the brightness slightly. So let's just bring that down. Oh, down, not up. All right, so that looks a little bit better. Press okay. And now we have what I think a pretty cool looking green screen. So here's a little pro tip that I learned. 
Whenever you set up your green screen, push the bottom of the green screen slightly back so that when you sit in front of it, it actually reduces the amount of shadow that you cast on it. And as always, thanks for watching.